Okay, I'm just going to do a quick video today going over one problem having to do with using division, uh, division using place value disks and long division. That is what we went over in class today. So we had 86 divided by 4. So the first thing we spoke about today was I need to put that 86 into a place value chart. So I'm going to label my ones and my tens column, okay? So 86, so I have to model that 86 into tens and into ones. So you see here, I have eight tens and I have six ones. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I have one, two, three, four. Oh, four, five, six ones. There's my 80. Six. I'm just going to draw a line underneath there because now this was me modeling. Okay, I modeled my 86. Okay, that's what I modeled. Now I have to divide that 86 divided by four. So I'm going to take a different color and I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to split this up. Actually, I can go back to black into my four groups. So one, two, three, and I'm gonna label. This is gonna be group one over here, group two, group three, and group four, okay? Those are Gs, All right? And that's just for me to help me organize my work as I'm solving this problem, all right? So I have eight tens. I have to give out my eight tens. I'm going to share them with the four groups. And remember, you can only give something to one group if everybody has the same amount. If it's not equal, okay, if you can't share it equally, then you can't give it to the group. So I have eight tens. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Everybody got one ten. Let's see, I can keep going. It's five, six, seven, eight. Now, everybody has, I've given out all eight of my tens, and every group here has two tens, two tens, two tens, and two tens. So I'm good with my eight tens, all right? So I can kind of cross that out. I've used them, all right? Now I go over here. I have six ones, all right? So six ones. Now let's give out one, two, three, four. All right. Now we also want to go five, six, but I can't do that because I can't give out two to this group, two to this group, and only one to this group and one to this group. So I have to go and I'm going to take out one of those ones. Those are now my what's left over. So I could put them over here. That's my remainder. All right. So I have a remainder of two. All right, so you're looking inside each group. I have 10, 20, and a 1. So I have 21 in each of my four groups. I have 21, and there's a remainder here of 2. So 21, remainder 2. So your quotient, so the quotient is going to be 21 and the remainder will be 2 okay so that's how that's how here i guess i should fix that to that looks like it's the squared symbol 21 remainder 2 all right now when we look here and we want to do 86 divided by 4. I'm going to do it all on the same page. I should be able to. All right, so 86 divided by 4. We went over in class the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Dirty monkeys smell bad. Or does McDonald's sell burgers? All right, so... We know inside the division, the division house is going to be your dividend, okay? Dividend. 
to the, sorry, that's always dividend. And I know because we have the I and we have the N for in, so it's inside. And then we have divisor has an O, and O is for the outside. Okay. So let's do our steps. Our first step here is divide. Four, we're going to do eight divided by eight tens divided by four, which is what we did over here, eight tens divided by four, which gave us two tens. So eight divided by four is two tens. Okay. So we divided. Now we're going to multiply. Four times two is eight. Now we have to subtract. Eight minus eight is zero. Okay. Then we bring down if there's any other numbers. We're bringing down the six ones, which is what we then did over here, right? We took those six ones and divided them into four groups, which is six ones dividing into four groups over here. So four can go into six one time. That's division. Now multiply. Four times one is four. Subtract. Six minus four is two. And there's nothing to bring down. So that two is your remainder. Okay? So that's just a quick video on doing division using our place value disks and using long division.